For decades, Seoul has continued to grow economically. What is its next goal? It's to become a city where everybody is happy. We found answers from the citizens. Children should be protected from disparities in education or food quality because of their parents' incomes. I was worried because I could not find a job. But through Youth Hub, I met friends who shared my dreams and started my own business. There will be a library within 10 minutes walking distance from every corner of the city. All the libraries will be connected so we can check out books anywhere we want. The entire city will be a huge library. Seoul is the best city for public transit. There are late night buses from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. for people working late. This is just what the people of Seoul needed. I got a job as a barista thanks to the help of a social enterprise backed by the city. Also, there are co-ops that support self-employed people. Both are future engines for growth. Cars can be shared just like bikes. This idea is good for the environment. Smart ideas like this make Seoul smart. Our district gets energy by installing solar cells in schools and libraries. We can voice our opinions on everything at the open mic of the citizens. People are turning parcels of the city into small farms. We can feel green nature here and help our neighbors by selling what we grew. Cell citizens can communicate with Seoul City through social networking services. We can also forward inconveniences like pavement defects through a smartphone application. This is what you call SNS administration and communication. Thanks to a system where the names of builders are marked at each public construction site, sidewalk builders became more responsible. In the past, it was so scary to walk through the alleys. But now with the crime prevention designs, it has become so much safer and we have built a community that cares more about each other. To become a city where everybody is happy, Seoul continues to solve urban problems one by one by listening to citizens. <laughs>